Tell me where you're from. I'm from Michigan. Tell me what brought you here about four months ago, because you're back again four months later. Um, nobody in my area, not one dentist, could get my bite straight at all. Um, every time I had dental work done, it was shifting all over to the point that I had teeth budding from the inside, um, front teeth into the upper going into my sinus as well. Yeah. Jaw pain, headaches in the back of my head, the neck and shoulder pain, all of that has totally improved with getting the bite in balance the way it's supposed to be. More aligned. Yeah. I seen dentist originally because I knew it was with the teeth. Um, it was happening with that. I seen a chiropractor. Um, one, it would work, but it was just temporary. You're talking one or two days and I could be back in there. Yeah. I mean, it would just, if the bite was off, the back was off, the back was off, the bite, you know, it's just back and forth. If I went and got a bite adjustment at the doc, the dentist office, mm -hmm. I would be into the chiropractor and vice versa. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Um, with the dentist that originally took out my amalgam fillings, and that's when a lot of it started. Um, I had my amalgams out, I want to say, probably were about eight years now. Total, yeah. So I could have close to 100 bite adjustments with him, even just a teensy bit here and there. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He thought he was doing something, but the thing is, you're just chasing the bite at that point. Yeah. And I just felt like I was just going around in circles because it just wasn't ever getting any better. It shifted another spot and another spot. Now he was just using the bite paper, correct? Right? Correct. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he'd say, it's just a tiny bit, but you'd get kind of leery at that point, you know, um, because when I went to the previous dentist before I seen you, I noticed in the mirror on one of my crowns that the little metal started, started to show, show through. through. Yeah, because they're <laughs> taking too much. <laughs> so when you came to us, they, they pretty much flattened your back teeth. Correct. Correct. But what we did differently was we actually measured, you know, four screen at a time. Right. We put numbers to the timing and how your front and back teeth came together. Oh, I'm ecstatic that I've had it done. Um, you know, the quality of my life, um, like I said, you just, you wouldn't believe what it was before. I mean, if you asked my husband, if you asked my children, yeah. um, you know, my daughter lives a little bit out of town. The things you can't do, you know, as a mom is, um, you know, you want to at least be able to be mom to them. And when you can't, um, that's overwhelming during the day. And now when I can get up and go and do the things that I need to do, it's, it's wonderful. It's like you're getting your life back. In the genesis, the way you perceive it was when the amalgams came out and they dropped in the white fillings. Correct. And then I also needed root canals. Um, Subsequently. Right after that. Mm -hmm. Several. Yes. You know, and I don't know what I typed in on YouTube, but I tell you, if the people are typing something in and you pop up, um, it's a godsend because... I don't know where I'd be even today with the way my teeth were budding and hitting had I not gotten in here um, when I did. My advice would be to definitely try this because it makes sense. Like you said, you know, where you're biting in time, where you're hitting, um, it's you're accurate at it. The paper is not accurate. Um, I literally could go into the dentist previous and when he'd put the paper in, he'd say, well, we're getting to a point that I might re need to redo your crowns because I'm taking too much off. So yeah. I know it's not, it's, not, um, it's not helping, but I would definitely, because if you're suffering, um, you know, the quality of your life, it's just, you have to, you have to feel good. And this mm -hmm. is awful. I think it's more awful than, you know, just, um, I've even said to my husband, I'd rather have my hand taken off than to have, yeah. go through this. You know, at least you know that's going to, you know, at one point you're going to adapt to that. But this was like you could not adapt to it. It was constantly changing. It was constant misery. Right, we imaged you. Correct. Imaging the TMJs is huge because right. you have to technically really image properly before you can alter the bite. Correct. You need to, you need to find stability. Mm -hmm. And yours were a little damaged, but they were yeah. stable enough to where we should have been able to expect a lasting change and so far what four months now right yes. oh, yeah oh yeah because i was so. in that middle category like you said is it going to work or not with yeah. having some of the cartilage you know yeah. ripped there not there so much so but you're definitely yes yes but it took you know you had a lot i had a lot of different things going on like sometimes i'd have pain but then it'd subside it was almost like everything was releasing and it took probably about seven weeks before everything just kind of, you know, settled down and it was like the bite just felt completely normal, perfect. All the muscles were not so tense. It takes the muscles that long to uh, chill out, basically. Right, right. A lot of people. They Correct. Don't know long. Correct. So it was about seven weeks for me, I would say. And I just was like, this is wonderful. <laughs> this is, yeah. you know, where it's, it's like feeling like your teeth are back to where you started originally as a kid. And that's the yeah. way I figure it out. The, you know that's how it feels for me is that 
you know, um, when I see my kids and they're smiling and they're, you know, their teeth are coming together correctly and mine just weren't. And now I feel like mine are doing what they're supposed to do. My jaw is doing what it's supposed so to do. So life is good. Life is. You can get away from it now. Forget <laughs> yeah. the teeth and the head pain and all that. Right? Yes, exactly. And my <laughs> husband's like, you know, if you're going to come here and it's not just going to be for the bite, he's going to do dental work and he's going to check that bite. <laughs> so now <laughs> you guys drive 13 and a half hours for a dental appointment. Correct. Just correct. a normal dental work. Yes. Yes. And that seems crazy to other people. But if you're suffering, I'm just like this gentleman I just talked to in town. I said, if you're suffering, you'll do anything, yeah. you know, to get out of the pain. 13 and hours isn't too far. 13 hours doesn't <laughs> seem too far. I know. I'm like, do you want to drive again? He goes, not this year. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe next year. Yeah, maybe, maybe a plane ticket at the end of the year. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Nick. Thank you so much.